Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Helvi here from slimandstylish.com. Hope you're all okay. Today I have this note card, which I just love. I love the treasured medallion cling stamp set. I think it's really lovely. And I don't often do man cards and I'm finding doing monochrome treasured medallion cards are my sort of hat tip to um, man cards and I've done quite a few of them you'll find a few on my channel but this one is actually my favorite don't tell the others <laughs> it's using this gorgeous detailed stamp at the top here and I'll just bring it in so you can see some other detail on it okay let's get started and I'll show you how to make it what you need is a piece of basic white cardstock this is a sheet of A4 that's been cut in half and scored in half. And I've just noticed I've actually nicked this as I brought it out of the um, drawer. But I'm going to put a piece of card over the top of it so no one will ever know. So I'm just going to fold that. So there's my base card. I then have two pieces of cardstock. So I have basic black and I have cut this one down. So it is nine centimeters by 14.35 centimeters so it will go in the center of the card like that with a larger strip of basic white down both sides and i then have a piece of smoky slate which is nine and a half centimeters by 13.5 centimeters so that will go like that and it will have a larger strip at the top than it does at the sides so that it kind of sits on there a bit uneven but I think adds a bit of texture and I quite like it. So for the background of this I've actually done some tone on tone stamping so I've used this little sort of decorative piece that's at the top here and I've actually used smoky slate ink and this is smoky slate cardstock so it is the same colour on top of the same colour. Okay, I'm just going to grab some scrap paper because those who've been with my channel long enough will know I really do not like getting my grid paper dirty on videos. I don't mind it when it's just me crafting. I get through it quite quick then. But on videos, I just, I worry that you won't be able to see and it will distract from the video. So what I'm actually doing is I'm going to stamp this across. I'm not caring if all of it ends up on the paper. I'm just doing the outside first. No sort of pattern to this. I'm just going wherever I want. They don't necessarily have to stay straight either. There we go. Nice and simple. Just going to pop the lid on there. I'm going to grab some scrap basic white. So I have some here that I've used obviously for another project. Interestingly, for this archway here which is on another one of my videos so what you want to do is you want to grab the gorgeous sort of i keep wanting to say doily i get it's a medallion but to me it just looks like a nice lace doily so uh, there i go trying to make my masculine cards feminine again <laughs> i'm just going to ink that up with the memento ink make sure i've got good coverage and just pop that down and stamp it out and then there aren't coordinating dies for this there is a punch but there aren't dies and the punch doesn't punch out the images it actually creates gorgeous tags so you're going to need to fussy cut and it is a bit detailed so i have actually already done one for us just there okay but i mean look at the detail that is in that isn't it beautiful it's one like one of those um, you know those colouring books that you get and you do with your gel pens and you get them all really nice and bright and colourful? That's what it reminds me of. So for the rest of the project, you're going to need two different ribbons. So if you can see here for texture here, I've actually added the Smoky Slate Shimmer Ribbon and I have added the Playful Pets Twine. So you're going to need both. One. So I'm just cutting that, so it's about a centimetre longer than my card. And I'm going to do exactly the same with twine. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the card over 
I'm going to roughly place it where the middle is. It doesn't matter if it is just off, but I do like using my grid paper because it gives me a centre line. So then I know exactly where I am putting my adhesive. Just wish my adhesive knew that I want to use it. There we go. One, two. So now I can put my ribbon on there run it round and line it up the other side and stick it back down again and then I can put my twine on it and the twine runs through the centre of the ribbon like that and I can stick that down there like that so it's done that way I want my little arrows to be down I know what I'm doing <laughs> I'm just going to bring in my basic black sheet now because this is quite tacky and I don't want it to stick to my grid paper so I'm actually already going to put this onto here and if you can see I've attached it using dimensionals because it's popped up so I'm just going to pop a few of those on the back of the cardstock. You don't want to go all the way to the edge with this because the basic black is narrower you want to sort of remember that when you put your dimensionals on and keep them on the, on the sort of inside allow yourself a gap. Okay, whip the backs off those, get it stuck down. I always, whenever I play with the ribbon on the back and attach it around like I have done there, I always like to attach it to the back of the cardstock pretty quick because otherwise it's going to end up stuck to my grid paper by accident. And then I'm going to ruin my project because I won't be able to get it back off. So there we go, all hidden and I can put it down quite happily now. To finish the project off, I'm going to add on the doily. So as you can see, doily, treasured medallion. It's a man card, Helen. It's not a doily. It's a doily. <laughs> so I'm going to add this on. As you can see, so that I've managed to fit it on with a bow, I've put it over the smoky slate. So I haven't put it on like that. I've put it on more like that. And I've used some um, dimensionals to do that. So let me just grab a few more off here. I'm getting to the end of my... Uh, dimensional pack by the look of it. There we go. Just going to pop that over the top. Sort of there. Turn it over and I'm just then going to go underneath the ribbon and chop that off up there so it sits straight. Finally, a little bow. I say finally, we've still got to put the uh, sentiment on, which is actually the biggest part. So <laughs> sounds like I'm wrapping it up, but we've still got some heating bossing to do. So there's my bow. Nice and simple. And just grab a glue dot to adhere that onto the card. There we go. And then for the heat embossing, you want a small strip of basic black cardstock. So what I've actually done is I take a full sheet of A4 cardstock to make my bases. So I will just take a full sheet of the A4 cardstock and I will normally cut it 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters um, and leave myself a strip of one centimeters because our A4 is 21 centimeters. I will then cut across here at 13.85, 13.85, and again, it will leave a centimetre strip. Because these were narrower, I actually cut a little bit more in. Um, they were nine and a half centimetres, so I cut nine and a half centimetres, and then it left me with a bigger strip, and that's where I got this from. Okay, so it is quite economical. You can work it out with your card, and you 
when you're using the stamp, it's today we celebrate you. You actually don't need the paper to be as big as the stamp because I am actually just using the middle word. So, so long as I can get celebrate in there, I'm happy with it. Okay, so heating embossing. You want your embossing buddy. If you don't have an embossing buddy, talc works pretty well just to get rid of the static. First mark, ink that up. Just going to grab that scrap paper I had earlier because uh, I don't want to get first mark on my grid either. And I'm just going to stamp that down making sure that the celebrate fits on the paper. Like I said, I don't really care about the other words. I just want the celebrate. I'm going to be adding over our white heat emboss powder. Making sure it's caught all of the celebrate. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab my heat embossing tool, which is dangling over the side of my desk over here. So if you have your sound on, you might want to turn it off slightly because this is quite noisy. And I'm not sure if my, my cord is going to get all the way over there. So I might have to go off camera for it. Hopefully not. checking we were done it looked to me like it was still um movable so that's why i checked it but don't do what i did because actually as i checked it i took some of the heat embossing off and put it on my finger it's okay because it's still legible but perhaps give it a couple of seconds to cool just before you do test it <laughs> daft me so I'm just going to chop into this now. So I'm going to cut quite finely in so that I just get the word I want. Celebrate. Rest off my desk. Oh, I'm trying to get rid of the embossing powder and I actually get rid of the whole sentiment. Two daft things in a row. So the edges of your dimensionals are really good here because they're narrow, so it makes it a lot easier to put on to the sentiment rather than a full dimensional. And then just pop that in the middle of your medallion, not doily, medallion. <laughs> a couple of rhinestones now. So you're using the smaller rhinestones so you get the tiny ones then you get the middle sized ones then you get the big ones i'm using the middle sized ones and i'm just putting them in these loops so hopefully you can see there's some loops just here i'm just popping four of them in the loops towards the bottom of my medallion and finally to finish off a little bit of tombow And if you're looking on my shop to buy Tombow, by the way, we call it um, multi-purpose liquid glue. It just used to be called Tombow because it's it's Tombow mono liquid glue, but it's the multi-purpose one. So while I always call it Tombow in the shop, it's listed as multi-purpose glue, which has confused quite a few of my customers because they've gone from classes, they've gone home to go and buy them and then can't find Tombow. <laughs> So there we go. Card all finished using the treasured medallion stamp set. What do you think? If you like it, please do give me a thumbs up, comment and let me know you were here. Do subscribe for the videos and everything that I have used today on today's video is available to purchase from www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Have a lovely day everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. 
All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.